Welcome to Specific Love. This is the third edition of 20 French Cleat Ideas for your tool storage. Let's begin. Now whenever you complete a project, usually you have just lots of scrap left over. Some of this scrap can be used for later projects and some I just like to toss well in the burn bin. I have a nice little trash can here, but a lot of times I misplace it or I just can't find a stupid thing. And I'd love to just put my trash in it, but I just can't. That's why I created a nice little wall mount so you can always be able to see it. Now this is a pretty simple design. I just took some boards and glued them together, made everything nice and smooth, and took some additional pieces. This happened just to be cedar, and I created a nice little box for it. This is relatively simple. The trash can fits in. If you notice here, it is a real tight fit because you don't want to take any chance of when the trash can getting heavy that it falling through. It sits nicely on the wall. I have an additional brace down here at the bottom because this will get kind of heavy. But overall, this should work and it should be easy to always find my trash bin. Wooden dowels. They're awesome for projects. Whether you're using a small piece or a large piece, they do come in handy. The only issue is sometimes, well, I forget to have them. And two, well, I just can't find them because they get in all the little cracks and crevices. And well, it's just a pain. So I created an awesome little holder that sits right here on the wall. It'll make it nice and easy to be able to find them. Now to hold these wooden houses are actually a really simple unit. This is just some PVC pipe. It's actually the sewage and drainage pipe. And if you look right here on the end, probably you can tell it is real thin. Make sure you get the thin wall version. It's just much lighter and easier to work with. Also, if you look here, you can tell there's a little bit of a hump coming up. That was naturally in the PVC from the factory. And so make sure you look for this and it creates a nice little stopper whenever you're doing your little unit. This is a real simple piece of wood. I just drilled a hole so that it just barely fits over the main shaft. And now it easily stops right there. The color wise, I just use some basic wood stain, give it a few days to dry, and it came out pretty nice. For the bottom, I'm using just a basic end cap. And I got one screw in the bottom. This should hold most of your wooden dowels, unless you're trying to use some as really big pieces, which I wouldn't recommend for this anyway. Either way, this is a great little unit. I can have it on the wall and easily find all my dowels. Now, depending on what type of shop you have, a towel holder can be really handy and it's really easy to make. Now, to put this together, I just have a single one by right here in the front. And on the sides, I actually doubled up a couple of one bys just so I can space it out from the wall. Add a French cleat to the back, and it's really just that simple. Depending on where your outlets are in your shop, sometimes they can just be in a pain. For example, mine run right in the middle of my cleats, and I need to protect them because sometimes I'm just banging stuff around, and you don't want to knock the plugs out. So I created this awesome little outlet protector. The design is actually quite simple. I just took some wood, cut a 45 degree angle here on the back so it is sitting nice and flush against the wall, but also at a nice angle out the front. This should allow you to plug stuff in, be able to put your protector over, and a cable or cord hanging down below it. Overall, real simple, real easy little outlet protector. Now here's a simple way to make a great looking holder for some of your carving tools. Now to make this, I used a combination of some clear PVC, these are three quarter inch, and just some acrylic background. I used a basic, just clear PVC cement to glue everything together. And I understand that everybody's not gonna have access to clear PVC, and it can be a little bit, bit expensive, but you can do this with just basic PVC too. The neat thing about it being clear though, you can see your tools real easily as they sit inside. And being that it's three quarter inch, it fits nicely around these particular hand carving tools. On the back, it's real simple. I just used a French cleat and I used a couple simple screws right here at the top. Just drilled a hole through the acrylic and made a nice attachment right there. Overall, this is a really cool setup and I hope you can do something similar. Now here's a simple and easy way to store, whether it's your air hose or electric cords, right here on the wall. Simple design, I just have a nice strong backing with three little pieces here to support it. The center piece is much higher than the side pieces and that's so as the cable or cord or hose goes over it, it's less likely to kink and just add some extra support on the side. I have a nice stopper here on the front just to keep anything from falling off the front. As long as it's relatively heavy duty and sturdy, this should hold pretty much anything you put on it. Now, a step stool is an awesome tool to have in your shop. It's great to have around, but it can also just be a pain and get in the way. Even when you lay it against the wall, it has a good chance to get knocked over. 
That's why I made this awesome, simple little holder. Let me show you how I did it. Now this is a real simple design, just a couple pieces of one by material that I glued right here in the center and planed everything nice and smooth. On the sides here, it's kind of hard to see, but I notched out a side piece on each side so that I could glue in a couple more pieces. Now this is also some one by material that I've glued together, sandwiched to make it doubly thick, but overall it's just a basic simple board. On the front, I did the same thing, just adding a piece just to keep stuff from sliding off, and if you notice, this is at a good nice 90 degree angle. Now on the back here, I do have one French cleat. I do not have any supports back here, but if your step stool is kind of heavy, I do suggest adding that just for some additional strength. Overall, very simple, very easy design. Now I'm sure most of you have seen these type crates before. They're relatively inexpensive and they're nice and heavy duty. You can put a bunch of stuff in them, but they also work great by adding a French cleat. And by doing that, you can create a nice little storage shelf not only inside but on top and with these little slots and wood being on the side you can put attachments or hooks or whatever you want it's a great and simple way to make a little holder for your French cleat wall. Now having an air filtration system is a great way to prevent breathing in all the dust particles or whatever else you may have going around in your shop. Now this is a home built oversized unit and I just have a French cleat holding it to the wall. I actually built this in a previous video, I'll put a link to that in the description below so make sure you check that out too. But any kind of air filtration system will work. Just put a, a nice cleat on the back of it, make sure it fits in a position. Usually good to have it a little bit up higher so it catches a lot of those particles that are really floating around in the air, not the ones that fall to the ground. Overall, get you something to help you breathe and attach to the wall. Now if you have a bunch of hand tools like me, here's a great way to hang up some of your shovels. Now this design is really simple, I use the 2x4 as the back, and the sides here just got some one bob material, cut a little bit of angle to reduce some of the material weight, and a nice French cleat on the back. Overall, really easy. Now sandpaper is always handy in the shop, so I created this awesome little holder that separated all the different grits, and a little piece down here to separate some of the smaller pieces. Let me show you how I built this. Now this design is really simple. It's basically just a box design that I've used some MDF. This was half inch that had scrap laying around. So I built these boxes and added a little additional piece on the bottom. Now all these cuts, including the dados and the rabbits, were all made on my basic table saw, which is a standard blade. Took a little extra time to do it, but it worked out great and you can do it too. Also, I just used some basic wood glue to clamp and make sure all of these are nice and tight. Works out great. For the shelving, I'm just using some, I believe this is 16th inch or maybe 8th inch hardboard and that works out great just sliding these right in place. Now I made them loose so I can always slide them out to get what I need or if something gets stuck I can always take everything out to get in here and have easy access. Now for the back on the lower section, the backing was kind of an afterthought. I realized I didn't have enough room back here to do a nice full back without making some major adjustments. So I just had a piece of acrylic that I cut down. It'll make it easier for me to see in the bottom, especially having the white background of the wall. Just works out. I can see what it have in there easier since it is a smaller piece. Overall, real simple, real easy design. And I hope you can make a sandpaper organizer yourself. There's a great way to store your reciprocating saw. I know this is a very simple design. I just used some scrap plywood that I drilled out some holes and carefully notched and cut it out so I could add a couple additional one by materials so that it would stick all the way through and give it just some added support. On the front here, I had, this one is at an angle to fit around the handle and this one is to fit around the main barrel. I do have a support here to keep it from sliding off and this being at the angle it is, will keep the handle from sliding off as well. Down here at the bottom, I created just a little tray so I could take some of the extra blades and drop them in. It creates a great little storage place so that you can easily have everything you need for your reciprocating saw right in one place. Sometimes having some really deep inset C-clamp is a great tool to get in those hard to reach places. And I created a simple little holder for them. Now for the holder here, it's real simple. I just use a three quarter inch board for the backing. For the front here, I just use a two x four that I cut to the width of the clamps. 
to hold these in place, I use some glue and a couple screws in the back to give it a little added strength. Screwing in the end grain is not the strongest, but for little clamps I'm putting on here, it'll be fine. On the top here, I added some popsicle sticks just to keep anything from sliding off. And that's a great way to store your C-clamps. Now a corner clamp is an awesome tool to have whenever you're trying to put something together at a 90 degree angle. But because of its odd shape, it can be a little challenging to store sometimes. That's why I created this awesome little holder. Plywood backing with a couple pieces at a 90 degree angle allows me to store two of these. Real simple, you just carefully find it, insert it, tighten one end down, and now it's nice and secure. It's a great way to store your corner clamp. Depending how much work you do with saw blades, there's a good chance you might have a nice variety of them. Where it's a simple and easy way to create a holder. Now this is actually a pretty simple design. I took some one by six material and I cut up three pieces down into 12 inches long. I then took the two side pieces and using my table saw at a 45 degree angle and using the miter gauge, I was able to carefully cut out these slots. Now, of course, you're gonna have to adjust the size of these slots and how far they go back, depending on how wide your blades are. But overall, this works great for the width of my blades. I then just carefully glued, and I used some brad nails on the sides so I could easily secure them in place, clamp them down, give them some time to dry, and then you can easily add your blades and store this on your wall once you add your French cleat. Now here's a great way to store some of your speed squares and your other measuring tools. Now this is a pretty simple design. I took a one by six and cut it into several pieces and then I adjusted each of the slots so I know exactly which tool I wanted to place in. And then on the back, again, I'm just using another one by six that I screwed all these pieces into. Also added some glue just for extra strength. And on the bottom, I added some corner pieces, again, for just some additional strength that I glued and brad now in place. You may or may not need these depending on what you're using. I had a French cleat on the back. Real simple and real easy. Now caulking or adhesive tubes can sometimes be a challenge to store. That's why we made this simple little holder for our tubes. It's actually a very simple design. It's just a box out here in the front. And then for the base, we just drilled some holes just big enough for the tubes and then attached it to a nice backing with a French cleat. And there you go. Now a good quality axe is always good to have, whether you're chopping a tree down or just trying to make some firewood. So I wanted to store this in a good location so it would be less likely to rust and last a much longer time. So I made a very simple holder just using some old pallet wood. I drilled some holes, added a couple of dowels right there at a slight angle. It fits just over under the blade here and I can easily store this up on my wall. Next up is this awesomely simple little tape holder. I use cedar, but you can use whatever kind of wood you want. On the bottom down here, I created a little shelf, but I used two pieces of wood, and I cut them at about a 30 degree angle. And the reason why, that creates a nice wide mouth, so you can easily store your tape. It allows a variety of different sizes to fit in there well, and a great thing about it, as long as you're not just throwing your tape in here, you just quickly set it in and it's almost going to center perfectly for you. you. Definitely make it wide enough so you can have a variety of tapes in here. Mine holds about six or so pieces of tape depending on the sizes. For the sides here, just real simple. Again, just some cedar, use whatever you want, and of course your French cleat on the back. Real easy, real simple, go out and make one. Now a hot glue gun may not be something you use every day, but when you need it, it really comes in handy. So we created this awesome little holder for it. Now the design is actually quite simple. Even though it may look a little more in depth, it's real simple. I had a bunch of leftover scrap wood and I just wanted to make something look a little more artistic. So I glued and clamped all these together and then planed it nice and smooth. Of course, you don't have to do this. It's your shop, it's your tools. Do whatever the heck you want. I do suggest probably using some three quarter inch wood so you have some strength, but that is up to you as well. Down here, I used what I believe was a one by three cut down to fit just right inside so that I could have this hot glue gun sit right there. Now, if you notice, it still moves around a good bit. So I had to put some popsicle sticks right here on the end just to give it a little more of a stopper, less likely for it ever to fall out. Over here on this side is just a holder for the hot glue and it's just a basic box, nothing fancy. Now, because of the wood is here and here, you can easily take the cord 
and you can wedge it right in place. If that doesn't work for you, you can always add some hooks, maybe on the underside or over here, wherever you want, maybe even above it. That is completely up to you. It's a really easy way to put together a nice hot glue holder. Now, I hope you can get inspired by some of the items you see here. And also, if you think of anything else that could work, please list those in the description. I'd love to hear what you think. I'd love to hear ideas because I'd love to do more of these videos. And don't forget, this is also the third edition. So I have two other videos. I'll have those linked in the description below. So make sure you check those out. Otherwise, get out of your shop and have fun building. Ah, I can do it now. Ah, almost done. I shouldn't say that. Rejected! <laughs>